What's going on guys? I'm Andrew with Camper Kingdom in Meridian, Mississippi, and today we're going to be viewing this 2025 Coachman Chaparral, model number 381 DBL, which is a two bedroom, two full bath layout that can comfortably sleep about seven, maybe even possibly eight individuals. But if you're new here to welcome you to the channel, then let's get started. So we are going to start on the inside and then step back out touching on a few of the exterior features but this thing showed up and i just could not resist quickly grabbing the camera before getting the pictures of it sleeping on board for possibly six individuals but notice in the back you do in fact have a loft area so maybe seven or eight depending on the size of your guest that's of course going to be climbing all the way to the top the main body construction is only 96 inches wide but the dual opposing slides right here between your kitchen and your living give it the appearance that is much much larger than it really is and by the way i love the kitchen island in the middle i'm a big cook and of course the transition from the island over to maybe the coffee prep area just seems to work out nicely for me slide box here in the living area you're looking at six foot three so just be a little cautious if you're maybe standing up in the slide thomas Paine collection theater seats these are also going to be manual with the pull handle here and there's also additional storage going to be found inside the center breeze windows on board the slide all the windows you see are in fact breeze windows and they're trimmed out with those black roller shades solid surface countertops here in your kitchen let me get you turned around this way give you a pretty good view of your kitchen that's going to be an 18 cubic foot furion fridge it is in fact 12 volt and speaking of the 12 volt system there is a 190 watt solar panel found up on the roof that keeps the house battery nice and charged, which by the way is running the majority of your camper, all the 12 volt especially. But when it comes to these RVs nowadays, just about everything runs off of the 12 volt system. From the fridge, your awning operation, all the lights you see, even these slide operations, your awning, I think I said the awning, the spark that goes to the on-demand water heater so storage on board you got a decent amount the cabinet doors are in fact solid wood and I do like to point out some of the construction when it comes to the cabinetry let me pull out one of your drawers these are in fact stapled not dovetailed do in fact have a soft closed latch to them though and there's under the sink single basin under mount sink with a residential type faucet overall pretty nice living area you do in fact have some additional storage right over there above the sleeper sofa so this will let out give any sleeping for about two more people i'll try to maybe overlay another video showing you exactly what that's going to look like and this will be what it looks like whenever you're enjoying the 50 inch tv by the way that's an electric fireplace those do produce about 5,000 btus of heat but you can just turn the heat off and utilize the lights this is your fear gun sound bar but utilize the lights maybe to assist your guests with who are maybe sleeping here in the living area so my favorite part of the coach is going to be the front this camper resembles a lot like i think it was the model 375 baf and that particular one had several bunks in the front but this one's going to give you a queen size bed you do in fact have no washer or dryer connections on board, but you have a ton of storage. Come around and show you that. I'm trying to give you the, the far out view as I can, avoiding getting too much in your view. You do in fact also have storage under the bed. Check that out. That's pretty cool actually. Well, I'm not sure what you would use that for, but that's kind of nice. What do you guys think? Let me back up and give you a better view. Pretty cool. So also on board, you have three total air conditioners, which by the way, all three can in fact work at the same time. This is the first bath for your guest. That's gonna be a porcelain foot flush toilet, thermal foil countertop, your bathroom medicine cabinet 
plastic sink, plastic faucet. So stepping upstairs, once you are up here, your ceiling height, you're right at 77, 78 inches. That is a smaller miniature tub. You do have the skylight for some additional room. So not too bad, actually. I'm a, I'm a pretty big dude. I think I have plenty of room. Let's go ahead and make our way back downstairs, though. Bedroom number one. Thermostat number one. So three total air conditioners on board. One, two, and the third will be in the main bedroom in the back. And by the way, yes, they all can, in fact, work at the same time. This is that loft area. So dimensions are right from here to the top, right at 30 inches high. And you have this attachable ladder, which shrinks down. These things are quite impressive how far, how small it shrinks down to. But that's gonna attach, it's kind of out in the middle of the floor. And again, it's gonna be very, very limited height as far as who's gonna be sleeping up there. I think most of this area will be honestly turned into a lot of storage area for maybe some plastic totes. So coming all the way to the back, into the main bedroom of the RV, which has a king size bed, lots of room check out the room to the left you got maybe eight to ten inches there but here at the foot of the bed one two three and a half almost four feet of space of course it gets a little smaller here because of your full-size wardrobe closet you do in fact have some kind of shelf i guess you could call this a shelf for your books or maybe your phone your light switch and you have a usb outlet right over there 110 outlet, I'm looking for it. It looks like you got one right over here. Raise your bed up to give you a better view. There you go. Coming around, let's look at the foot of the bed now. So if you were lying in bed, this will be your view. TV connections are found way up there. A decent amount of storage. This is going to be a closet. You probably thought that was going to be washer and dryer connections, didn't you? It would be nice. I, I feel like washer and dryer connections would be nice in the model, but it does not come with any. This would be your pull out here. Those are probably at least 12 inches deep, 12 wide. Coming back to your bathroom now. And by the way, I gotta point this out. So typically when you have a loft area, getting the airflow, manufacturers don't want to admit to it, but airflow from the top of the loft all the way to the bottom of the RV is normally a problem. But look what the Chaparral brand has done. They've limited the loft area to right here, so which allows this all to be open, which gives that air conditioner free roam of the entire bedroom, keeping it nice and cool. So that's very nice. Come around. Your bathroom has a double door. There we go. So going into the bathroom. Thermofoil countertops, that's just like a hard heated plastic wrapped over that countertop material. Lots and lots of storage. Perhaps all the way around. You kind of got like a dead space up here, so I can see some additional things being placed up there. You do in fact have blackout shades up at the top, but it seems to be rather high. Some type of switch to for electric controls would have been very nice for that. This will be your perfect pooping position and a huge two-piece plastic shower. Ceiling height inside the shower, I think you're over eight feet at least. And that's going to be a porcelain foot flush toilet. So let's go ahead and look at our MSRP sheet as well as the sales price. So a date and time I'm making this video, maybe you can pause the video here. MSRP of $93,372 and of course our sales price can also be viewed at the link found in that video description down below. So if you don't want to see anything on the outside, go ahead and leave me a couple of comments, maybe a couple of thumbs up. Those always do help me out, help me out as well. But this thing's rather big at 42 feet, six inches long, and I'll be sure to leave the hitch weight about here but because of its pure length i recommend towing this thing with at least a one ton or possibly larger you got one single propane bottle on this side but these are the larger bottles and you have the second on the other side we'll end the video on that side there 
your front pass-through compartment, you're looking at possibly one, two feet by one, two, maybe two and a half feet. It's trimmed out nicely with the carpet, and this is just a quick access panel if you happen to have some issues back this way. So black tank flush, this is kind of an odd place to put it, but on your campsite of the RV, when you're done camping, you're gonna bring your water line around and connect it to here. And this, of course, is gonna clean out all of your holding tanks on board. Four step entry step. Your entry door, by the way, I loved it. It was like over my head. I'm six foot two. I didn't have to be cautious of that, by the way, going in. Awning is huge, at least 25 feet in length. You've got this like bracket because it's so long it has to rest on the bracket there just to keep it from flexing very nice led lights so this has been a shocker so brookstone and chaparral are both made on the assembly line and they're always been, they've always been known for you know things like how thick their bag stores are and they're normally like an inch thick so this is a change it rather shocked me when the brookstone right over there showed up the other day with a thin baggage door so i'm not sure what's going on there exactly you do in fact have heated holding tanks on board this is a shot of the underbelly and that's an lp quick disconnect right there so if you wanted to set up maybe a grill outside you do have connections to do so jbl audio system six inch speakers found on the outside there's one you've got check out your suspension system that's one thing that's pretty much standard across the Brookstone lineup, as well as the Chaparral. You got the upgraded suspension system. You've got a six point fully automatic leveling system. Your spare tire. All of your slides are rack and pinion, and this is just my opinion. This is the best system on the RV market as far as the slide mechanisms go. And look at your beefy frame. That thing is huge. That's at least a 12 inch I-beam very very heavy rv i can definitely tell coming around to the back wall you do in fact have the rear mounted ladder your blindside camera prep for three different cameras you've got one back here on the back two will be on the blindside markers you got the four by four tubular bumper good place to store your sewer lines once you are finished camping and you do in fact have the receiver and it says not for towing low capacity of only 300 pounds so tankless 60,000 btu on demand water heater this compartment here is what i call the water management area half inch thick bag of store your water lines will come up through the floor connecting the sewer water connection this is your winterization if you decide to do that that's still shocking Sewer connections on board, you do in fact have two different ones. You have one here and you have the pull handles located right above it. Rack and painted slides. That's gonna be the second sewer connection. And the pull handles for that one are located up here. That's the exhaust for the furnace. And the second door for the opposite side of the passive compartment fully automatic leveling system this is your controls that's the light switch for the docking lights found on the front and that's the battery disconnect switch overall I'm impressed I wish it honestly had the washer and dryer connections I love the two bedroom two bath the way they're doing them nowadays but I feel like with an RV of this size washer and dryer connections are kind of important what do you guys think let me know in the comment section down below. Come see us.